hey y'all hey welcome back to my channel so today i figured i'm off so let's go ahead and make a video i'm kind of in a rush because i'm trying to get to meet somebody so let's go so as of right now i have two appointments but somebody just called me for i-9 so i'm about to meet them at the gas station before my appointment and I say that because a lot of times if you can squeeze them in, squeeze them in. Because that gives you a better chance of keeping that appointment and not giving them a chance to call around and try to find another notary that's available right now. So if you can squeeze them in, squeeze them in. Just a tip. So right now I am at the gas station waiting on this young lady to show up which she said she was about 10 minutes away when I talked to her and now she just said the same thing so she better hurry up because I got I got two other appointments that I'm trying to squeeze her in front of um but I have my pen ready I have my business card ready and my clipboard why because we at the gas station and we about to do this on the back of the car and it's an I-9 form so there's no stamps involved it's just me signing as an authorized representative so normally i charge about 60 50 60 dollars but because this was on the way to my other two appointments i'm not really going out of my way so i'm only charging her 40 dollars. i can't even make this up this young girl is not here not just that she just called she at the wrong gas station Literally, she said next to the McDonald's, she said on 56 and Fowler. She, I think, I told her in a nice way. I had two other appointments and I need her to hurry up. I told her to drive safely, but she needs to hurry. If not, I'm going to have to reschedule her. Long story short, I'm not sending her a Google My Business review uh, text. Because I, that probably wasn't the right thing to say, but I'm in a hurry. Oh my goodness. Ah. Now I'm back in the car sitting. What? I know you gotta be patient. I hate to have the people at the retirement center waiting because I get business from them all the time. Okay, so that appointment is done. Oh my God, I'm so glad she finally got there. Anyway, just want to let you know that I-9, that's the new I-9 form. So, you know, I told you as of November 1st, those are the only I-9s that you can use now, where it's just that basically that one page. And I have a video telling you how to do the, the new one versus I have a video with the old one. So it's the most recent one where it's... Uh, it's not that much different. It just kind of combines all the other ones to one page. So, very simple. And hers actually was all typed out. Even like electronically signed. So, very, very easy. Quick. Boom. 23rd Avenue. Alright, I think this is it. Okay, that appointment went good. No hiccups. I asked him to email me that document so that I can share it with you guys. So if he emails it to me, then I'll put it in this little, right after this, we can go over it. Okay? On to the next appointment. Here is my favorite retirement center slash nursing home. Everything went good, no problems. Uh, she was letting me know somebody else need a power of attorney, but they left already. So, hopefully she'll call me back. But she said she was trying to do two in one, but she'll just have to give me a call on tomorrow. I love this place. How many people shop at the meat store? I usually get everything from Sam's and Walmart, but occasionally if i'm in the area and i need like one or two things i go to the meat store i have a favorite meat store that sell cut up cabbage most places don't 
but then that's not where we're going today where i'm going today i'm gonna go right here on fletcher which is on the same road this retirement center is just to get me some ground beef because my son won't egg rolls and i like egg rolls so i'm gonna make them change your plans i was right here by toyota so i was like let me go get my car washed it needs it real bad the best thing I could have did was buy my car certified. Because when you get it certified, you get free car washes for the life of the car. And baby, I get this car washed. Mmm, that chicken quesadilla. There go my baby. All nice and clean. Shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, normally they never disappoint me. But, so they got salsa. But they ran out of sour cream. How do I eat a quesadilla with no sour cream? It's a chicken quesadilla with cheese. It's so good. You hear me? So good. But now, because I don't have any sour cream, I have to wait until I get home. That's some bull crap. I was going to do greedy stuff and eat and drive. Huh. Now... Instead of going to the meat store, I'm going to go ahead and just go to Walmart because I need some more cabbage anyway for my egg rolls. I think I only got one bag. Okay, so now I'm about to go on Walmart real quick because somebody just called me asking me about doing a waiver or lean or something like that. I don't even know what it is, but whatever it is, I'm going to do it. And that's what I mean when I say you don't have to be not seeing the document all the time after you get comfortable with doing numerous documents you literally can just look at the document and figure it out but that's after you get a little comfortable with it but long story short let me run in walmart get what i need real quick and then meet him on the way home no lie just that quick i forgot i was doing <laughs> making a video anyway um i just met the one guy and i did the paper which was and as a matter of fact he's somebody that i notarized for before um this is probably my third time i want to say some kind of lean something i think he got like some kind of lawsuit or but he's a business so anyway long story short that appointment is done and now I'm leaving because if you, as you can see, I don't know if you can see, but I'm like in this parking lot where this place is closed. Anywho, home, because I got groceries in that document that I completed for the guy, my second, I want to say the second or the third appointment. Either way, this isn't the exact one. I asked him to email it to me. He said he would, but he never did. So I didn't want to pressure him. I went online and I found one that pretty much looked almost the same. And I just wanted to share it with you. So just in case somebody asks you to complete this document, you can say, okay, yes, I can do it and feel confident. So here we go. So ultimately, this is just telling them what their instructions is as far as getting this document completed. The parent or the guardian would put their names there. The children's name and their grade would go there. And there they would check right here that they're the, the guardian or the parent and their current residence. That's where this address would be right here. So they would put where they currently live and their current phone number. So if they have two phone numbers, they can put that there, but it's not necessary. And then they would come down here and as the parent, they would go ahead and sign in date or the guardian. You as the notary, you would come here and you would complete this part. So because you see that says Pasco, I would draw a line out of that and put Hillsboro. But I'm going to show you what I'm going to do at the end. So first day of November 2023, bye. The, you're going to put the parent's name here. And then you're going to put what type of identification they showed you, whether it's a driver's license, passport, or whatever. You're going to go ahead and sign your name here. And you're going to put your stamp here. You'll come down. The person who this person is living with. So this document is usually done when a person is trying to enroll their child in school or something of that nature. And they need to prove that they're living with someone. So right here, the owner, 
So you need to have both of these people at this appointment. The owner would print their name there. They would put their contact information, so phone number, address, anything like that. And then they would check which one of these go with their situation. So if it's a family hardship, they need to write exactly what's going on, summarize it really small. Or if it's one of these, they would just check that and they would sign and date there. And you're going to check both of their um, IDs. But what I would do, because if you notice in the notary box, this is not the correct verbiage, the updated verbiage for Florida, right? So I would bring my acknowledgement stamp and I would stamp it right in this big spot here and I would fill it out with the correct verbiage. So what's missing up there is going to be down here. And then this document will be complete. So I want to thank you guys for coming by my channel and giving me a chance to go over this document with you and to kind of go through my day with me. And I want to let you know, look out for more content because my plan is to do tons of videos this month to try to see what I'm capable of. So if you have any, any suggestions, please let me know because I want to give exactly what you need. I had someone the other day ask me for optimizing your Google business page. I have that document coming out tomorrow. Well, not even the document, but that video coming out tomorrow. So just let me know what you need and I'm going to try my best to give it to you. Okay. Alrighty guys, look out for more videos. Bye.